Hey everyone, this is Tayman2037, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. Uh, the last video I just got done with the Mayhem Temple, so right now I'm gonna go tackle the next level, which is called Gooder Gulch Mind. And it might be a bit longer, obviously, we're going through the game. Well, it's gonna get a bit tougher, but still, we're, we're doing pretty easy. But uh, there's, a, there's a bit more complicated things, though. I mean, I, if you're new at the game, you can actually have a bit of trouble with it because it's, it's a it's a bigger level. It's more harder to find things. But first, we have to go unlock, lock it, unlock it. So, hey, how are you guys enjoying things? I hope hope you like my videos. Like, I just got four done today, and this is my fifth one. It's the summertime for me right now. I'm actually, I'll actually be going to college in August, so I don't have a ton, I mean, I have a job, but I don't have a ton of obligations right now, so I can just make these videos. But when I get into college, it'll be a bit tougher, hopefully I'll have a TV that I can do with the video out, which is how I get, use the dazzle. But hope, I hope to get the game done before I go to college, but we'll see, I mean, this isn't going to be my life, I'll, I just have a lot of free time, like I said. So this is the that was the stuff that we missed earlier because I I had video issues I couldn't record that stuff after I did it. So this is just a scene what happens this shoots out a big beam, but then it actually doesn't shoot out until later, which is weird. And then it shoots straight up, but then it comes in down diagonally, and I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not a physicist. Maybe they have like a big mirror above it, and they just angle it to shoot it where they need to shoot it. And I have enough I have enough jiggies to take on the next puzzle, which is for Witchy World. So I've gotta wait for them to get done talking. And as you can see, more and more puzzle pieces get taken out every time. But still, I mean it's not too hard. It's not a difficult game. It can just be you just have to know where to look for things. When it comes to other challenges, I mean, you don't really need to look very hard in this level. And I really wish we could skip over these scenes too, because honestly, I've gone through this a lot. Just seeing them open the doors a billion times, I'm like, yes, you opened the door, good job. <sighs> I was trying to get this going at a friend's house, have one of my friends guest commentate, but his TV didn't have the right output source, it didn't have a video out, so we just, we just kind of sat around. A bunch of other people were there, we played some Brawl, which was fun. Played a 25 lives match, which that took a while, obviously. I mean, I wanted to go higher, I would have gone 50 or something, but they didn't want to do that, so. But now I'm back home, doing some recording. Hopefully tomorrow he's going to come over and we'll do some do some recording tomorrow. So now we got to use the move that we use that we got in Mayhem Temple, and that's how you get to the next area. And then you can you can activate the silo, and then you you can just warp between the areas. Sometimes I, I, I rush too much during my speedruns and I forgot to activate the silo. And that probably took like a minute off my time. Which just, I mean, those add up. Those mistakes add up over the course of a speedrun. See, right here, right here we get our first new egg. Or fire eggs. And we're going to use those to get to the next world. See, this is the only part of Isle of Hags that splits into three worlds. I mean, three sections of Isle of Hags. You can get to the Pine Grove, you can get to the Clifftop, and then you can get to the Wooded Hollow. And then all the other areas are just linked to, to, two, to uh, one other place. Or two other... No one, or... 
Except for maybe Ginger Village, which has Spiral Mountain and Wooded Hollow. I don't know if you count Spiral Mountain as a separate path. So here we're gonna get a, we're gonna get the grenade eggs, and this will help out with the boss inside a Glitter Gulch mine. You can do damage on him faster, and it doesn't take too long. So I mean, why not? It never hurts to have the grenade eggs early. That's the entrance to Witchy World, but we're not gonna go in there yet. Then go back to the plateau. And since I'm not really doing a, a fast run through the game, I think I'm gonna go visit the honeycomb place. I haven't got any honeycombs yet, but you can. There's one over here. You only need one honeycomb for your first upgrade. Fuck. And then you need one, three, five, seven, and nine to get your health. You can get up to nine health that way. Uh, I accidentally said no. Dang it. And I think there are three honeycomb pieces in each world, plus one in the Isle Hags. So that would be... I th that'd be 25, I think. If you add that up, I think that works out. 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9. Plus 7 is 16. Plus 9 is 25. Yep. That works out. So once we get the new eggs, they sh they rotate now. There's, you have your normal, you have your, you have your fire, and you have your grenade. And now we're ready to attack all Glitter Girls Mine. And one of the first things I do, I don't know if it's necessarily quicker, but I just think it's fine. We're gonna go get the move. We're gonna get the drill beak move. And we can go wrap up Mayhem Temple. And we can, we can also get a, a special unlock in Spiral Mountain that helps out through the rest of the game. And to save time, we're gonna just exit the game and start over. And then they act like you, you just died and it's a game over, but you quit on your own. Maybe they make you feel bad for quitting. And you just skip over this. We don't, we don't have to waste in-game time getting back to where we need to go. Because we're, we need to go back to Spiral Mountain now, and if we, if we quit the game like that, we can, we're just right back there. I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm not. Okay. You may have noticed this rock at the beginning. I don't know if it showed on my screen. But now I gotta break this rock. And there's a goldfish underneath. And I know he's not dead, but... He's, he's talking. He's flopping his fin, so... He seems to be doing alright. <laughs> so just pick him up. Just gotta jump in the water. Simple as that. And he gives you extra air to work with, and then he gives you a special way to swim, swim faster. Which that really helps in. It really helps in Glitter Gulch Mine because there's a underwater mine section maze. I mean, it's not that complicated, but it helps out get through it faster. I mean, the time you spend getting getting the extra, the faster swimming, it probably makes up for all the swimming you have to do in the game, so it just cancels each other out. Or maybe it even gives you an advantage. Oh, I forgot to go to... We're not going to go back to Glitter Wolfshine yet, we're going to go back to Mayhem Temple. So that was a mistake. We still need to get two Jiggies here. Prison compound. We're not gonna go in there yet. Oh, 
Get some gold feathers. I mean, you want to grab those when you can. So the waiting boosts that were from the first Banjo Kazooie. You first got them in World 4 in that game, which was Global Group Swamp. That's one of my favorite levels in the game. If you want to save time, you can just jump in there, get hurt, and they send you back in, but flying super high. I don't really know how that works. So you go back down there. There's a there's an upper route that leads to the, ch to the Cheeto page, but I'm not going to do those right now. I think once I've beaten the game and everything, I'm going to come back and get all the extra stuff, so that it's kind of all in one group. So if you want to know where something is, you don't need to go digging through all my 